All right, so we're already having technical difficulties. This thing was scary. Was Dude, this sounds bad. Yeah. My spine. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome to the 2022 Honda Clone Engine Shootout. This is an episode that I've been really looking forward to making because we're going to be comparing eight of the most popular stock and modified options in the Honda Clone performance world. Everything from the classic Predator 212 to a Tilson 212 to a big valve Tilson 225 making about 30 horsepower to the new Predator 212 Ghost Racing Engine from Harbor Freight. We, make, we made a similar episode like this a few years ago comparing five different engines from stock to modified, but a lot has changed in the Honda Clone Performance world. There are more options than ever if you're looking for an engine for your go-kart or minibike. So we thought rather than bench racing with horsepower numbers and, and dollar signs, we would actually throw them all on this Manco Dingo, run it around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix, and give you a real breakdown of the difference in each lap time. So before we begin, a few ground rules. We're gonna be testing using the Manco Dingo. It's a simple, great handling go-kart, and it's just a great vehicle for putting down consistent lap times. So that's why we chose the Manco Dingo. So the uh, data that we're gonna be comparing today are gonna be the overall lap time, and the idea is in order to not completely beat the crap out of one of our favorite go-karts, if we feel good about our first lap time, we're going to keep that one. But if we don't feel good about it, we might do two or three and then average it just to keep the miles off the dingo. We're going to write down the horsepower that each one makes, how much it costs, the max RPM that we see. We installed a tachometer so we can look down and see the maximum RPM that we hit with each engine. We and then we're going to compare the split time. So the margin of which each engine is different compared to the basic Predator 212, what we anticipate will be the slowest engine. And then finally, uh, we're gonna have Charles this time up there for ones that he wants to hop on. I'm usually the most consistent quick driver among the three of us on go-karts anyway, so I'm gonna be running the test today. Say a prayer for my spine. We already have our laser timing system set up on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix, and we just installed a Go Power Sports Juggernaut driven pulley for our torque converter. It's, it's a great high performance torque converter modification that you can make. Uh, it helps the high RPM engines really just continue to pull at high RPM a lot better than your standard driver for your torque converter. So here's the complete list of the engines we're gonna be comparing today. We're gonna to talk a little bit more about each one as we're switching them out because there are quite a lot of subtle differences between each one. And finally, if you want to check out any of the Tillotson engines or performance parts for any of these engines, including Predator, be sure to use our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com. They've been around in the uh, performance world for these Honda clones for going on 10 years now. They uh, really know what you're doing and can provide tailored assistance for you, whether you want a very mild build or if you want to go all out with a big valve 225 or Tillotson 228. All right. Without any further ado, sit back, relax. It's gonna be a long video uh, of testing and data. Let's get started. So we pretty much decided this first run, we're all gonna run it. This one's got the Tillotson 212, the governor still on it. And uh, I'm pretty excited. We, don't, we can't let John have all the fun, can we? No, no. So let's get this thing lined up and take it for a pass. Whenever you're ready, bud. Let the games begin. We learned in this episode that the Juggernaut Performance Torque Converter Driver works best on de-governed engines. At the 4,000 RPM that this Tillotson 212 was spinning at, the Juggernaut appeared to have not opened all the way, resulting in a lower than expected top speed. It's still the best performance driver on the market, but it may be worth sticking with a regular 30 series torque converter if your engine revs to 4,000 RPM or less. So next up is the Predator 212. This is basically what started it for us in the uh, beginning. This is an excellent engine to, for your like first go kart. Uh, it it was a uh, about it was under a hundred dollars when we first started on the channel, especially with the nice little coupon. 
and uh, now they're up to about 150. So my guess is this thing's going to be kind of at the, the the bottom of the list on the uh, the speed trial that we're going to be doing. This is this should be the slowest, uh, but excellent engine, good strong engine. I highly recommend them. Uh, yeah, so let's get this thing out on the track. Try that. We can't have that. All right, so we're already having technical difficulties yeah. with our Predator 212. Yeah, apparently it was a used engine that we had sitting around that we cleaned up, and for some reason we thought it was brand new. And we're having carburetor issues. So... We're gonna try a quick and dirty carb clean method. Yep. So sometimes you can rev up your engine and put the rag over the carburetor uh, to suck out any trash in the carburetor. It didn't help in this case, so we are actually throwing a brand new carburetor on it. And uh, you can get that carburetor at Go Power Sports because that's what we got right here. Try that, boys. Looks like we're good to go. Yep. All right, here we go. I feel the governor. It's already kicked in. And we're at 3,900 RPM. 38. And I'm going to say this governor is not allowing the torque converter to kick in all the way. Yeah, we're at 3,800, which I think is... Oh, wow, this is bad. Yeah. This torque converter is only going to work best with higher RPM. So it worked out pretty good. The uh, engine RPM, it seems like it was around 38 to 3900 RPM, which is, I think, about what it says on the box, isn't it? Yep. Uh, the torque converter, I believe it's not opening or working all the way because I think it's supposed to have more RPM than this. For the performance driver. For the, yeah. So I think a regular torque converter would probably work better top speed wise. But uh, all in all, it's. Uh, it was good. It was pretty slow though. So next up is the brand new and new to the Cars and Cameras channel, Predator 224cc Max Performance. Yeah, he's ready. We have a friend all of a sudden. <laughs> Crikey. Crikey. Oh, he looks friendly. Oh, he looks so happy. The 224 is on the Dingo, and installation was a piece of cake. It's just like any other Honda clone, Predator, or Tillotson. So we're going to see what kind of performance it can do. great I really believe there's no replacement for displacement and the highest RPM I got was like 4500 which I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way because this is one of the engines that we took apart uh, for for our comparison so we've run three engines so far and we've had a surprising variance in our lap time between three stock engines that are all within 12 cc's of one another we've had a lap time difference of around 15 seconds or something like that so far uh, which we have a theory as to why that is and it has to do with engine rpm and we'll talk about it more at the end of the video 
But we're getting ready for engine number four. This is a Tillotson 212 with no governor stage one performance kit that we've had laying around for a while. The stage one kit from Go Power Sports includes an air filter, air filter adapter, carburetor jet for more fuel flow, and a header. Basically the idea is to keep the internals of the engine stock, but uh, open up the intake and the exhaust uh, for more airflow, and then couple that with a new jet for more fuel flow for more power. So uh, we have no governor, so we're going to be turning 5,500, maybe 6,000 RPM here. And I think we're going to see the biggest jump in performance per dollar spent. So this is going to be probably the best value, but it's also, what do you think, the most dangerous? You're turning more RPM with no governor, and you're still running that stock rod. So, and flywheel. And flywheel. So you're running the biggest danger, but you're having the most bang for buck. That's my prediction. We're getting ready to throw this around the track, and let's see what happens. Yep. Oh, he did a wheelie! It looked like you, the wheels, uh, they were in the air the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, this thing was rowdy, dude. That is awesome. Um, at the bottom of Pathfinder Pass when I made that left, I made that turn and this thing bounced. A lot of air time, wasn't turning, bounced, grabbed a little bit, a lot of air time, and I'm just already in the tall grass. All right, well, this is just the beginning of the modified engines. Our final engine is going to have over double the horsepower of this one. Oh gosh. I'm excited. I'm me too. I'm gonna drive that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. This thing was scary with this engine on it. With just a stage one. It's only up from here, bud. I know. Alright. So what we've got here is a Tillotson 212 with a mod cam, Makuni carburetor. Is that it? Did I miss it? Uh, mod two. Say uh, mod two. Mod two with a uh, billet rod. So uh, we're gonna try this one out. My, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm under a minute on this one. This one's gonna be kind of rowdy. Holy cow! No slack. Oh God, my back. That's mine, dude. It sounds bad. Yeah. <laughs> is really fast. You okay, bud? Uh, no, not really. Okay. I'll, uh, what can I do for you? You need a minute? Not, uh, well, I mean, I guess we need to go in and swap engines. Dude, we can like do this tomorrow or the next day. Ah, uh, I said we can get it all done today. Do you want me to take over? No, it's okay. I'll do another one. Are you sure? I'm, I'm sure. You don't look very sure. My, my spine got shoved right out of top of my head. Okay, so we didn't consider Ike's spine when I was planning this episode, so I just want to say I am sorry. And I've offered to switch out with him, but he's like, no, we got to keep this consistent. Um, next up, we have the Tillotson 225. Now, this is not a fresh Tillotson 225 right out of the box. This engine has at least 
four or five hours of hard run time. This engine was on the, uh, our race bike and the Go Power Sports 180 when we won second in our class. And if you haven't seen that video, you ought to check it out because we had a blast. Oh, performed fantastically as well. This is going to be another pretty significant step up from the Tillotson 212. <laughs> it's going to be a lot faster. I'm, I'm calling the chiropractor. We're looking at more than 6,500 RPM, about 17 horsepower. Uh, and you can buy it, I believe, ready to run. Uh, on Go Power Sports website. So this is gonna be probably the most powerful turnkey option that you can buy without building one. There's a little bit of head work. Oh yeah, we did do a little bit of head a work. Little and bit it of does work. smoke a little bit, but it's got a lot of hours on it. it still makes great power though, it feels good. Yeah. Ready? acceleration is insane the rpm is like up there 6200 is about what i saw when i looked down might have turned a little bit more i got to tell you it was a handful and uh yeah the power coming out of the corners is what's uh helping me out the 225 is incredible to watch go around i am so sorry it's all right i'm you uh, looked incredible <laughs> But if I'm not mistaken, we're all sharing this experience, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is the top dog of the day. It's a Tillotson 225, basically short block. You build it yourself. You order all the accessories you want. This one is pretty much like all the boxes are checked. It's got roller rockers. It has chromoly push rods. We did a valve job on this. It has titanium uh, valve keepers. It has 55 pound dual valve strings. It has a 285 cam. Should rev to around 9,000 RPM. 28 millimeter flat slide. It would cost about $1,700 to build this engine just in parts. That doesn't include the specialty tools you need for the valve job uh, or any of the labor we did to shave the head or open up the ports. Of course, you can call it Go Power Sports and they can build one uh, for you like it but you're gonna have to pay for it. But hopefully this should be the rowdiest around the track. Yeah. I'm not sure we're gonna see 9,000 on this track. Not with the gearing. Not with the gearing that we got in the torque, torque converter. Um, but I'm thinking that we're probably gonna see 65 to seven. I'm gonna be, a, 75 is what I wanna see or more. I mean, I would love to see 75, 8, but I'm just, 8, I'm and, just trying and to And the big difference here. is you may have an 8,000 RPM engine at home, but this one will do it reliably. This one makes power. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be reliable at yeah. nine thousand multiple times. Yeah. Because I've had one that has gotten that, and it's not reliable. It's in that crate over there, blowed up. So yeah, this one makes power to eighty five hundred, or maybe even a little bit more. So right. we got our built two twenty five big valve, big cam, ready to go, and we're all three gonna take this one for a drive. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know. I mean, why not? It's awesome. Yeah. Yep, good to go. Yep, here we go. The Tillotson 225 with the big valve, big cam, ran a 52.49. Okay. 
Um, which ties the fastest vehicle on our leaderboard and it's quicker than everything else we've tested so far. But it seemed like we were having some issues with the carburetor with fueling at high RPM. Ike said he only got about 6,500 RPM out of it. Uh, and we need to fix a, a crankcase vent as well. So we're gonna play with the carburetor jetting and mess with the crankcase vent and send it around again. What RPM do you run? Uh, that one was 72. Okay. Holy moly! Wow, that that thing takes off fast. Oh my god. What do you get? 5635. 50, 5635. So not not fast enough, but we'll ask him if he wants to go fast. again. What's your RPM? Look, I don't know. Look at it, it's steering wheel. 8160. 8160. Oh yeah. I have seen the face of God. You wanna go again? No. You sure? So, you yes. saw Dale Earnhardt? I I know I was probably slow because I didn't do a warm-up. But uh, I'm one and done this morning. Uh, wow, this engine, where most 212s and stuff kind of are, are finishing up, this still has half the pedal left. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, like it's just getting started when most are kind of done. Right. Charles, good luck, dude. So I drive, look, what is it? I fish with this hand, but I drive with this one. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're all right, dude. You almost bend you almost it hard. It. Yeah, yeah. Oh, camera angle. It's okay. all right. <laughs> Holy moly. I don't think it was that fast, but that you were. That finish had style. So the big valve 225 was a wild ride. I saw 8,160 RPM, which is insane it sounded incredible but my back hurts now we're going to talk about the times that we all ran at the end of this episode but we first have a last minute entrant which is the brand new predator 212 ghost racing engine so this is from harbor freight it's 212 cc's and uh, it's been it's a brand new offering and it's been making some waves because it's a uh, it's a racing engine from the factory it has a cast iron uh, piston sleeve it has uh, a round slide carburetor. It has a racing camshaft, but they don't list any specs. So it'd be cool to do a deep dive and really dig into this one day. But for right now, we're just going to unbox it as well as check out the performance accessory kit and get it around the track so we can see in terms of numbers how it compares to some of these other engines. All right, so I can't help but be just a little bit skeptical 
Um, I mean, the round slide carburetor is awesome. The fact that it's got a 6,000 RPM rev limiter is awesome. But it's $450. We picked it up yesterday with the engine and the performance accessory kit. And there's kind of a lot that you can get for $450. Bucks. So that's why uh, this is gonna, this test is kind of gonna make or break uh, the new 212 Ghost. Thank you, buddy. So they have the top plate on here. So we spent a few minutes checking out the Ghost, and it has some cool features over a regular Predator 212. The oil fill cap on the top is kind of neat. Uh, it's got another piece of like ducting for the air to go to cool the head a little bit more efficiently that we haven't seen before. Uh, the round slide carburetor is cool. It's very small, what do you call it, throat? Yes. Very small carburetor throat, but that doesn't mean it's gonna perform poorly. We've seen 9,000 RPM out of a 22 millimeter Makuni, so. As long as it's tuned well, it could perform very well even though it's just got a tiny throat. So uh, as far as the accessory kit, which is $150, which I thought was kind of pricey, this exhaust right here, just this uh, this chrome muffler and this exhaust, I mean, this is probably 80 or $90 by itself if you were to buy it separately. So I could definitely see the value here so far. Now, if it'll hold up to, you know, five or 10, 10 years or 10,000 10, RPM, RPM uh, I don't know. But in terms of the design, it's pretty sweet. So we got the 212 Ghost installed and we've been really talking a lot about it. Yeah. Just, we yeah. just have so many theories and ideas and, and really the only way to, uh, to see how it does is to uh, put it around the track and that'll give us an idea of of how it's going to perform. Yeah, because we got everything written down, stage one, stage two, you know, stock, Tillotson stock predator. We have all those down, and we're going to find out exactly where this falls on that list. Yep. So uh, I I feel like I've been pretty uh, consistent, you know, consistent with your driving. On the, on the drive, on the track. So I think it's a pretty good test. And right. we're going to break down stage one, stage two at the end of the video. So what does stage one mean or what does stage two mean? We're going right. to talk about that at the and end of the video. From my experience, I'd classify this as modified stock, if that would yeah. make any sense to anybody. So, so. the only difference, we're using the, the, uh, the header and, and muffler that came with the Ghost uh, the accessory, the accessory kit. kit. So we're not using the regular header that we have with the other kits. So, you know, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't think there's gonna be that much of a difference, but uh, I can't wait to get out there and give it a shot. So we decided we have plenty of experience with a lot of these other engines, but we've never done the 212 Ghost before. So we're gonna do uh, a few different runs and just take the best averages out of those. that the acceleration isn't as good. Six thousand RPM. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like it's geared just right. I think so for this track. So uh, again, the only problem I have with this engine is it vibrates real hard. I mean, it is like a competition engine we have on a yard car. Well, you know, the other engines that we did, none of them. Sh the vibrations were none of them were as bad as this one right which is interesting it should have the same stroke yeah it's not like it's a big old stroker so i don't know it feels like the engine's out of balance it looks fast on the takeoff Well, 
I guess it's a note for all you ghost owners. Check your hardware before you run it. Oh. At least on your carburetor. Do you think it slowed you down, Charles? Uh, I no, mean, it don't, it, right, uh, it only happened. We give them a half second or something, you know. Well, fellas, congratulations. You both survived testing eight different engines. On this car. Finishing it yeah, on the dingo. Actually, actually, congratulations. You survived eight engines and eight yeah. thrashes. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so let's go look at the board. We can really get into the nitty gritty of the times, the RPM, uh, and the dollar amount of each engine. Right. So anyway, now that you've seen all the action, it's time to interpret and look at all of our data and go over exactly what's been done to all of our modified motors and just provide a little bit more information so that if you're looking for an engine for your go-kart or mini bike, you can kind of understand what you're getting with each one of these engines and figure out which one is going to work best for you. So we started off with the Predator 212. We all kind of thought that, that would be the slowest engine. It's the oldie but a goodie. Yep. It's my first go-kart had a Predator 212 on it. It's what started this channel really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of fun with those engines over the years, but it was the slowest engine in this case. Uh, then the next slowest was a Tillotson 212, uh, which was 16 and a half seconds faster than the Predator 212. And then third slowest is going to be the Predator 224. Now, I have something to say about the three stock unmodified engines, and that that there's and it's that there's a very close correlation between max RPM and the lap time yeah so we've noticed that these engines are supposed to have a 3600 rpm governor in them some are 36 some are 38 some are 42 and on a track of this size it's not so much about ex uh, acceleration with these lesser horsepower engines it's more about getting RPM. up to that 28 miles an hour and sitting there for the rest of the race yep. so if all of these engines the predator 212 the 224 and the tillotson 212 all maxed out at 4,000 RPM, I bet you they would be within tenths of each other. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. There's going to be a couple of uh, co corners we really need power. Yep. So, but there are a lot of straightaways. I wouldn't say tenths. You'd say two or three seconds. I would say seconds Okay. of each other. Yeah. And I would say that the, the Predator 212 would be last, and then the 224 would be hot on the heels of the Tillotson 212. So if we're going to draw conclusions between our bottom three engines, or our stock engines, being the Predator 212, the Tillotson 212, and the Predator 224, it's all very dependent on engine RPM. You'll see that the uh, 224 had a 4,500 RPM max, which, frankly, is probably too high. We we use this engine to tear down and compare to a Predator 212, and we may have not reassembled the governor correctly, yeah. but it's safe to say if on the box it says 3,600 RPM, 45 is just too high. Yeah. Um, the Tillotson 212, it is the most expensive out of the three, but it has the highest quality casting and assembly. You're likely to have the least amount of issues right out of the box with the Tillotson 212, and it's the best platform for reliability, longevity, and just building up from there, yeah. if that's what you want to do. Yeah. So then we move on to our modified or performance engines. Party time engines. Yeah, the really fun ones. So we started off with the Tillotson Stage 1 that had a total cost of around $310, and we saw a maximum RPM of 5,500 RPM. It's not bad. Yeah, so stage one is a header. We put an RLV racing muffler on here, uh, an air filter adapter, an air filter, and a carburetor jet. These make about 11 and a half horsepower on Go Power Sports Dyno, uh, and it ran a time of 59 seconds flat. And again, you see that max RPM, higher max RPM kind of equals a lower lap time. We're going to see that consistently throughout this comparison here. So now we get into the fun engines, the modified engines, the performance engines, and we start things off with the Tillotson 212 Stage 1. Now what is a Stage 1? That's going to be a performance header, a high flow racing muffler, an air filter adapter and an aftermarket air filter, and a carburetor jet, and a governor removal. So you get RP more RPM, you get more airflow, you get more fuel flow. It's pretty darn simple. 
It's only about $310 right now on GoPowerSports.com's website. You end up with about 5,500 RPM max, at least on our half mile track. Yep. And we landed at a 59 second flat lap time. Scorching. Which, bang for buck, this is the winner. Yeah. For sure. $310 for that much RPM and that quick of a lap time, you're having a great time. So yep. after the Tillotson 212 Stage 1, we have the Tillotson 212 Torque Build. Uh, and this is kind of, you get some billet parts, some really cool, like you get an aftermarket camshaft, but you're still keeping those RPMs down just for safety with the flywheel because in order to keep the cost down with this setup, uh, we kept the uh, cast flywheel, which is rated for 9,000 RPM on GoPowerSport's website, but still want to keep the RPMs down around 6,200 in this case. We guesstimated it made around 13 horsepower, maybe 12 to 14 with this setup. It has a stage one in addition to a billet rod for more reliability there, uh, and a mod two camshaft, which is a really popular camshaft. Uh, it makes a lot of power down low. Works great on a mini bike or this go-kart. And we chopped off a good amount of time with that, with a 56.7, and that brings you up to $490 on that one as well. So we're getting to the point where you're spending more and more and more money and gaining less and less and less with your lap time. And that's just the nature of modifying engines. Yeah. You can build a 300 horsepower small block for 800 bucks, but if you want a 500 horsepower small block, oh man, you're gonna spend some real money on that. Time to get some loans. Yeah, and that the same goes for, for these engines here. And next up, we have the real party time, which is the Tillotson 225 no replacement for displacement yes now this is very different than a predator 224 uh, this is a designated built from the factory racing engine it has a 265 cam i believe it re this one revved out to 6200 rpm uh, ours had a billet flywheel um, a billet rod and some other parts that I'll link in the description. I'm just going off my memory and it's a lot. You're doing fine. But this is a killer engine. I have it on my T4 and the lap time also speaks for itself. Makes 17 plus horsepower. It costs $900, so it's not cheap. But if I could marry any engine out of these today, it would be the Tillotson 225. Really? Dude, it's a killer engine. I love okay. it. Um, and then you come down to the big dog, the Tillotson. 225 with a big valve, the big 285 cam. So this engine is kind of no cost. Cost is no option. Uh, we have the billet side cover on this thing. It Super is a gorgeous piece for stability and reliability, dependability. We have a 285 cam. We have roller rockers, 1-3 roller rockers. We have chromoly push rods. We have titanium valve retainers. We have 55 pound dual valve springs. Like, the list just goes on and on with this thing, and the price reflects it. It'll cost about $1,700 to make this engine, and it's not for everybody. But, if you like to party, 8,100 RPM in the backyard. Yeah, crossing the finish line on two wheels. <laughs> yeah. At 52 seconds. Yeah, 52.4 seconds. So, again, it's over two seconds faster than the Tillotson 225. You'll notice you're almost spending twice as much, but like we mentioned, that's just what happens when you really get into modifying. You're spending more and more money to gain less and less and less. Now this engine makes 30 horsepower, according to Go Power Sports, on their dyno on methanol. We only have pump gas here. So we guesstimated 25 horsepower. And on the drag strip, I bet you there'd be a bigger difference between some of these, but we're limited Probably because so. the Dingo has no suspension and like, it's in the air half the time. Yeah. Yeah. But still, faster times. Yeah. Yep. I love the Tillotson 225 big cam, big valve, but it might be a little too crazy for me. Again, it's got to be the Tillotson 225 as is, as my, like, I'm going to marry you engine, which is such a weird thing to say. That's the one I'm going to marry. Really? The big dog? Yeah. And, and then, then finally, we have the new kid on the block, the Predator 212 Ghost for competition purposes only. Uh, it costs $450 right now for the engine and the accessory kit. It comes with a cool exhaust and a muffler and a round slide carburetor and a 6,000 RPM rev limiter. And uh, what did you hit, 5,800? 5, 5,800. So I need to erase that. 58 was what we actually observed. 
And it, I'm sure it will hit that 6,000 if yep. we had a nice, smooth stretch of pavement. Just like this one will probably hit nine like we were told it would. Yep. Uh, the interesting thing is here, we don't know how much power it makes because no one's really published it. We can't find it online. And it ran a 59.2, which we look at its closest competitor, the Tillotson 212 Stage 1 with the governor removed with a 59. So we did have to use the old school timer with just our thumbs on this one. Yeah. Uh, and so to account for the margin of error, we took the faster out of the three laps we ran with it to give it the benefit of the doubt. Uh, 450 bucks compared to 310 for a very similar package. It's definitely a lot pricier. But that being said, I think it really is for competition purposes. The accessory kit comes with a lot of other stuff that you're really not gonna use in the backyard. Right. Rebuildable fuel pump. That's all I can think of right now. Because <laughs> my brain is fried. Yeah. But there's a lot of other stuff. We're gonna do a deep dive on the uh, Predator 212 Ghost. Yeah, I could definitely go on a rant on that one. So, just saying. Just saying. It's not a bad engine. No, no, I'm not. No. Okay, okay. It's compared fine. Compared to the to Stage 1 Tilly. You know, you're spending like a hundred more. Am I going into the rant right now? No, it's okay. I haven't I haven't run the Ghost 212 yet. Okay. So we're just going to stop right there. Is okay. that okay? That's fine. You want to give a, an elevator pitch rant? An elevator pitch rant. Yeah. We got four minutes on the card. Okay. Better make quick, baby. <laughs> uh, I'd go with the Tiltson Stage 1. I agree. Yeah. First off, it's just cheaper for pretty much the same performance. But and there's more to it than that. I had, I had one complaint that the engine vibrated way harder which is weird yeah yeah so so it's like the engine was out of balance i don't know if we got a dud engine or what but i'd rather go shook the some bolts out of it for yeah, sure it did it yeah did. we lost shook, one of the carburetor, shook the carburetor bolts. bolts loose yeah uh, i'd rather go for the tillotson stage one we again we have a better platform to start with it's cheaper yep and it's better casting cheaper same or better performance yeah so there you have it, folks. There's your 2022 Honda Clone Shootout by Cars and Cameras out here at the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. Let us know in the comments what's your favorite. What was your favorite engine, Charles? Uh, probably Tillerson uh, Torque Bill. Cause Yours? Because yeah, it's your mine. engine. That yeah. makes sense. It's a good motor, dude. It's a good torquey engine. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching. If you're at the Tillerson 212 Stage One with the governor removed, if you've been here a while. You should think about getting a bill of rod and a cam, maybe a mod too, maybe going to that next level, because it really is like the next level. You're like that guy, hey, psst, you want to try some camshafts? <laughs> yep, so of course this video is sponsored by GoPowerSports.com. If you're looking for performance parts or replacement parts for any of the engines you see here, uh, you can check them out at links in the description. Also, there's a lot of information here. I've linked it all in the description for complete build-outs of each engine here. You can find parts to those if you want to recreate one. Thank you all for watching, and we will catch you next time. That is a big old turtle. Come here, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, my goodness. It's a big boy. Yeah. Box turtle? I don't know. Pond turtle. He'd still probably bite me. Oh, yeah. Look at him talons. Oh, yeah.